Hello and welcome to another RadToots.com Flash Action Script tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how we use Action Script to enable ourselves to click and drag an object on our canvas. So the first thing we want to do is we want to click and we want to draw our object that we're going to move around with our mouse and next thing we select it and we hit F8 to convert it to a movie clip symbol and we'll just call this circle and we need to also give it an instance name so we can refer to it from our action script which we are going to put here in our first keyframe so let's just open this action script panel here and we want to refer to our circle by using its instance name and we want to give it an on press function so we say circle dot on press and we indicate that it's a function and we're also gonna detect when we release release our mouse button and we also want to select detect when we release our mouse outside of the movie clip. So when we click on our mouse, or sorry, when we when we click on our object, we want it to start dragging. So we'll set our circles drag variable to true. Say circle dot or this dot drag equals true. And when we release, we set drag to false. And the last thing we need to do is we need to set an on enter frame function that is going to position our circle to wherever the mouse is. So we say this referring to the circle, underscore x for the x coordinate, and the x coordinate for our circle movie clip is going to be equal to our mouse x position. So we say root x mouse. And for our y, we say root dot underscore y mouse. Um, so here's our code so far. We say uh, for our circle movie clip, whenever we press on that or click on that movie clip, we're going to run this function, which basically just sets the drag variable of our circle object to true. And then when we release the mouse button, or release it outside of the movie clip, it sets the drag fun or variable to false. So whenever our circle enters the frame, we want to detect if the drag variable is set to true. So I can say if this dot drag equals tr is equal to true, then the x position and the y position of our movie clip is going to equal the root uh, x mouse and y mouse positions. Now we don't actually have to say is equal to true uh, because when you're dealing with boolean variables um, this will automatically be uh, either true or false so if true then it runs this or and if this is false and then it won't run it. So let's go ahead and test this and we can see that when we click and drag the mouse the circle movie clip starts following our mouse and then when we, re we release it stops but uh, you'll notice that it's not centered on the mouse so what we have to do now is we have to come back to our movie clip object here and we just have to center this I double click to go into the movie clip object so now I'm editing the shape itself and I just reposition the shape to be at the center of our uh, X and Y origin here. So now if we run this, click and drag, and it's following our mouse. Now let's say we don't want the movie clip to be centered on our mouse. Let's say if we click on the corner of our movie clip, we want to drag it by that corner. So how do we do that? Well, it's quite simple actually. We just need to set 
uh, offset values for our uh, X and Y position of our movie clip. So we set uh, an X offset value, and this is going to be uh, calculated from the point on which we click on our movie clip. So we say this dot underscore X mouse. Now we're this dot underscore X mouse is calculating the position of our mouse relative to the center of our movie clip. Uh, because we're using this to refer to our circle, and it's going to calculate the X position of our mouse from this movie clip. So if I click, for example, 10 pixels to the right, our X offset is going to be 10 pixels, as opposed to calculating the X mouse from the root, in which case it would be something like 200 pixels. And we're also going to set our Y offset to equal the Y mouse coordinate position uh, relative to our uh, center of our movie clip. So once we have our X offset and our Y offset, when we start to drag the movie clip, instead of the movie clip's X position being the root uh, X mouse position, we're going to subtract the X offset from this position and also the Y offset. Because remember, um, it's going to be, we're going to have say say 10 here, so we want the uh, we want the movie clip to be 10 pixels to the left, so we're subtracting uh, what we've added on to our movie clip. So let's test this out. So I'll click and drag here bottom right hand corner and you can see that I'm dragging it from where it's uh, from where it's clicked on. So I'll try all four corners here. And yeah, it seems to be working pretty good.